Quizzo. We're, I'm so excited. My name's Eric Rosenthal. We're doing a special March Madness edition of the Quizzo game here on Joyride today, giving away $50. I don't know. No sound. We're good? Everyone can hear me? All right. So let's start it over. I'm your host, Eric Rosenthal. We're starting over. Had a little audio issue here today, but now we're back and ready to roll. We're giving out away um, $50 here on the first six questions here of Quizzo and a bunch of money after that. Again, it's an all March Madness edition, all basketball edition of Quizzo. So before we get started, I want to get those uh, basketball emojis in the comments. I knew you guys did them before, but I need to see them now, now that we actually have audio going. I saw someone say he's super cute. Uh, I'll get your number after the game. That's, that's a joke, but uh, if you're 18 or older, maybe. Um, let's get some fire emojis in the comments, some other stuff. I want to see who you guys think is going to win the national championship. I know Duke is a lot of people's pick. They almost lost the UCF. So I want to try to see anybody else, and I'll try to shout you out if I can see. There's so many comments in coming in quick. Uh, Dana, too fast to even shout anybody out. I saw UNC. I saw uh, Michigan State. I see Michigan. No one picking Duke. KU. Uh, KU already went down, so I don't think that's going to happen. Sorry, they lost to Auburn, but maybe they can win next year. Uh, Florida State. I, I'm seeing Florida State in there. Kentucky. A lot of people saying, and there's the first Gonzaga of the day. So, hey, Tennessee too. So I'm excited to watch the you know the Sweet 16 and see who actually comes out with a championship. Uh, I'm picking Virginia, so we'll see in the end. Wow. Duke. Picky 2K5 says Duke. Queen E69 says Duke. Heaven Slay Lit says Duke. Lane 99 says Duke sucks. I don't know about that. Eason 40 is also picking Duke. T tons of people picking Duke. I support that. Someone picking the Toronto Raptors to win the NCAA tournament. I don't know. Good luck. Maybe Drake can help you out with that somehow. Um, now we got Virginia. Rick or Bob says Virginia Tech. Hannah 2019 Allen says Virginia. A Fig 2019 Virginia. Ferg 27 Virginia Tech. King Tommy takes Virginia. Wow, a lot of people taking Virginia. That's my pick. Um, like. Duke's probably better, but I'm going with Virginia in the end in just one game. Hi to everyone shouting out Eric. Appreciate it. Clippers. Hey, go Clippers. I'm a Clippers fan. Uh, we're about to get here started here on Quizzo. I'll read some comments. I'll talk to you guys during, out, during the game, and we'll have a lot of fun. For people who don't know the rules, again, answer the first six questions right to take home a share of $50. If you guess wrong, you'll be eliminated from the game. But you can use one key per game to stay alive after guessing wrong. If you're feeling confident, stick around after question six for the bonus round worth another $200. P.S. Look out for prize question banners. Get prize questions right for extra rewards. And just so you guys know, a special guest is gonna be joining me for one of the questions here today as we get started. So are we ready for question one? You guys ready? I wanna see the comments, are you ready? Shout out to you, Pink Fire. Shout out Nose Deep. Shout out Allison Burkle. Shout out Tessa Ransfield. Uh, and shout out Carl Lies 11419. All right, here we go, question number one. What are the semifinals of the tournament called? Is it the final countdown, the final four, or the final fantasy? You guys don't get this one right, I'm gonna be upset. Final countdown, final four, or final fantasy? Pretty easy question to get us started. They'll get harder and harder. A lot, a lot of these questions, I'm even I'm gonna struggle with. People saying A, B, and C in the comments. I hope you're saying, I won't say it. Are we ready? Last chance to get the questions in, get your answers in. And boom, B, the final four, of course. Let's see, 1,052 people got it right. Uh, the NCAA has been using the name Final Four since 1978. Sorry, people who thought it was the Final Counts and our Final Fantasy must not be basketball fans. I couldn't believe it. Um, you know, you don't watch basketball, live something, whatever. Uh, shout out Water, by the way. Shout out Bacon, shout out Aki, shout out Ethan, um, shout out Noah, and uh, Shout out Angel Money. We'll, I'll do more shout outs, but we're going to get here to question two. Use a key. If you get a question wrong, don't forget about that. All right, question two. Which of these networks currently broadcasts NCAA tournament games? Is it Fox, NBC, or CBS? Fox, NBC, or CBS? Who broadcasts the NCAA tournament games? Come on. You should know this. It's easy. Maybe watch them even on your phone or online. You can, it still says what network has the games. All right, answers are in. Last chance, and bang. Let's see, 788 got the correct answer, CBS. 
Uh, CBS is the only broadcast network to show NCAA tournament games. Can't get them on any Fox or NBC or ESPN, anything like that. Uh, but they all are on True TV as well. Um, shout out C. Smith and Duffy. Shout out MZ Covey. Shout out JFro79. Uh, shout out Water again. I don't know. I keep seeing your name, so shout out Water. Um, Duffy, I'm shouting out your what? I'm shouting out you again. Uh, hi, Tonya. Shout out for uh, J Finesse. And yeah, CBS, if you didn't get it, I'm sorry. Use a key. You get back in the game, you win more money. And uh, let's keep it going here. Uh, shout out Greg Hardy 10, Dre Bay 94. And let's get over to question number three. Which team doesn't have Devils in their team name? Is it Arizona State, Murray State, or Duke? Again, is it Arizona State, Murray State, or Duke? It does not have Devils in their name. Last chance to get your answers in. Here you go, and there we are. Now, I have a personal problem with one of these schools, Arizona State. And for those who don't know, they are the Devils. And Duke is the Devils as well. And Murray State is the correct answer. John Morant uh, is going to be number two pick in the draft. He led him to a, a win in the first game. But 695 of you are still in the game with Murray State not being Devils. Come on, Blue Devils are easy. And then Arizona State, not a fan as I went to the University of Arizona. Bear down, AZ Living. I see you in there. Shout out to you. Shout out No Sam 258. Shout out Brittany Marie. Shout out Chungi Fam. Shout out Lady Brooklyn. All of you get shout outs. And now let's keep the game going. Question number four, if y'all are ready. Which of these tournament teams is considered a mid major? Is it Seton Hall, Gonzaga, or is it Oregon? Again, Seton Hall, Gonzaga, or actually, is it Arizona? That's the trick right there. Is it Seton Hall, Gonzaga, or Arizona? Last chance, and there we are. I hope you guys knew this. It's not. Arizona, because that's the school I went to, and they're definitely not a major. It's a little bit tricky, but most of you still got it right with Gonzaga. 468 of you got it right. Not too many picks Seton Hall. I thought that'd be a little bit tricky, uh, but I'm glad most of you got Gonzaga right. They're a powerhouse basketball team, a one seed in the NCAA tournament, and uh, I was a little concerned some of you might get tripped up on that. Uh, they are considered a mid-major team being in the West Coast Conference. So uh, let's do a few more shout outs. You got lucky, glad. Hey, you can always guess. There's a one out of three chance. Worst case, come on, one out of three chance to get it right. Here we go to question number five. Which of these is one of Bill Raftery's trademark catchphrases? Is it onions, whoa, Nelly, or karate chop? Again, onions, whoa, Nelly, or karate chop? Come on. You guys, if you guys watch NCAA basketball, you'll know this one. So many great games with uh, this catchphrase being said after big moments. And the answer is, here we go. It is onions. Bill Raftery is one of the great NCAA announcers or sports announcers that there is. Uh, he trademarked the phrase onions in 2015 and he uses it all the time in big moments when players hit clutch shots. I love you too, sissy babe. And uh, I'm glad that uh, a majority of you are moving on to the last question, question number six which gives out $50 to the people who get it right. Um, here we go, question six. This player led the University of San Francisco to two championships. Is it Bill Russell, Julius Irving, or Rick Barry? Again, Bill Russell, Julius Irving, or Rick Barry, who led the University of San Francisco to two NCAA championships? Last chance, get the answers in. You're gonna faint? Well, I hope you got it right so you don't faint. Last question, and it's Bill Russell, of course, the legend. He dominated for the UCF Dons during the 1950s championship runs, one of the greatest basketball players in college and in the pros of all time. So I'm glad a lot of you people got the right answer, but um, I hope some people will stick around. We're gonna move on to get a little, little more money in the next round. I'm gonna do some more shout outs to Duffy, to K Mas Pues, to EKAJ67, shout out to you. Shout out to Just Amanda, and um, let's see some more basketball emojis. Shout out Ryan8507, who uh, is his birthday today. Happy birthday to you. We got some basketball emojis, some fire emojis in the chat before we move on. And just so you know, uh, so when we go to the second round, you goes for $200 total. Are we ready to go? Is that happening? $200 bonus round? Hit join round right now. Got the basketball emojis in the comments. I appreciate that. Thanks for the shout outs, nice comments coming in from a lot of the Joyride players here on special March Madness edition of Quizzo. I do know Kyle Fogg, Marisa, 44512. I have some good Kyle Fogg stories. You can find me at CashMe in the app here on Joyride. Add me, I'll tell you my Kyle Fogg stories after the game. All right, 
Any, any other people gonna join, join the round for $200? If you got those questions right, I'm confident you'll get these ones right too. So please join this round. And uh, are we ready? Here we go. Question number one of the bonus round. The lowest seeded team to ever win the entire tournament was seeded what? Fourth, eighth, or 11th? What was the lowest seed to ever win the entire NCAA tournament? Four, eight, or 11th? Here we go. Get your answers in for a lot of money. $200 on the line. You already got your share of 50. So hope you get that share of 200. And answer is eight. The Villanova Wildcats won as an eight seed in 1985. They had an early exit from this tournament, unfortunately, in the second round after beating St. Mary's in the first round. It broke my bracket, broke my heart. that They couldn't advance to the Sweet 16 or longer. So um, Villanova, of course, is the correct answer. Shout out to you, P Pink Bird, Ralph. Shout out to Louis Ski, one, two, three. Shout out Rich Baby, Re, and uh, shout out Louis Ski again. You keep getting those shout outs, you keep asking for them. And also shout out Ollie, because why not? We got, here we go, question number two of the bonus round. Which of these teams has won an NCAA championship? Nicknames. Is it the Beavers, the Okies, or the Armadillos? Who won an NCAA championship? The Beavers, the Okies, or the Armadillos? I'm not sure. I don't even know this one. I hope you guys know it. I'm a little worried that people are going to get, a lot of the people are going to get this wrong. So here we go. Answers are in. And let's see. Wow, Beavers is correct answer. Most of you got that right. A hundred and, what is it, 28 people got it right. About 105 people got it wrong. So there's going to be a lot of money at stake for not too many people left after that question. About almost a 50-50 split. Good job, people who knew it was the Beavers. As a big basketball fan, I didn't even know that. So uh, the Beavers won the tournament in 1950. Who knew? I guess you did. All right, for my next question, the next question coming up, you know him from the TV show Mom, from The Office, from the movie Bridesmaids. Here he is. It's my brother, Blake Rosenthal. Hey. Hey, hey everybody. So you guys ready for question three? Let's get started. Which of these NBA stars never played in the tournament? Is it LaMarcus Aldridge, Paul George, or Kawhi Leonard? So again, LaMarcus Aldridge, Paul George, or Kawhi Leonard? And you know this? Um, I do not, but I have a good guess. I have a good so guess, let's see. Let's get any guesses. Let's find out. Hey, someone said, hey, you cute. <laughs> Maybe Ooh. looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> He's single. <laughs> He's single. Ooh, and the answer is Paul George. Uh, congrats to the 143 people that got that right. Uh, Paul George is actually my pick for Defensive Player of the Year in the NBA right now. Yeah, I think, think I think he should win Defensive Player yeah, of the Year. Mm -hmm. Maybe even MVP? Mm -hmm. uh, probably not. Giannis and Harden. Mm -hmm. But uh, thanks, three. Blake. Get out of here. <laughs> thanks for joining <laughs> us. Everybody. That was my brother, Blake Rosendahl. Awesome kid. And uh, you've seen him on a bunch of TV shows and movies. Go follow him on Twitter at Blake Rosendahl. Okay. Now, let's do some more shout-outs. Snow Fox dropping the basketball emojis. Marisa says, you might know my sister's friend. I don't think so, who that is. Uh, people saying bye to Blake. Hey, bye Blake, we love you. And uh, a lot of people dropping basketball emojis and really nice comments in there. Here we go, a couple more questions left. We're moving on to question number four. Which of these teams has not won back-to-back -back NCAA championships? Is it North Carolina, Kentucky, or Florida? Which team hasn't won back-to-back -back national championships? UNC, Kentucky, or Florida? Which one hasn't done it? Get your answers in. And here we go. A couple questions left. Big money on the line. Hopefully you got it. One second, please. Shout you out. And bam, North Carolina. Kentucky has won back-to-back -back national championships in 1948 and 1949. And more recently, the Florida Gators won in 2006 and 2007. I also believe the woman uh, Florida Gators won the same year as the men, which is absolutely incredible. And you can, again, add me at, at Cash Me uh, here on Joyride. I'll play with you in future games and uh, maybe help you out with some answers in the comments in the future, but shh, we won't tell anybody that. A uh, few more shout outs. Uh, Shanice Ryan can shout out, wants to shout out for Aaron Silver. You got it. Um, people got it wrong. I'm sorry about that. There's only two questions left. Use a key, get back in the game, and uh, I think there's a good chance you'll be able to get these last two right. They're not too hard. Even I knew these last two, this next answer. All right. Question number five, bonus question. Here we go. The only 16 seed school to beat a number one seed was better known for what? Golf, architecture, or chess? It happened last year. The 16 seed that beat a number one seed is better known for golf, architecture, or chess. Get your answers in. Ooh, some people in the comments are giving out, giving out correct answers, I think, on this one. You guys are pretty accurate. 
and bam, it's Chess C. The UMBC Retrievers knocked off Virginia in 2018 uh, to uh, be the first 16 seed to beat a number one seed as ever happened. And Virginia actually almost lost again this year to a 16 seed. That was pretty crazy. I was stretching out um, at the end. But yeah, the Retrievers are more known for chess than their basketball. But hey, they got the, they got the win last year against Virginia. All right, guys, one more question left for all the money. $250 question. It's pretty hard. Not that many people are left, so there's a lot of money at stake. Get this answer right. Win a share of $250. It's going to be some good money. But let's uh, hit the comments before we go at the end. I want to see what you guys say. Tell me if you're confident. Tell me who's in. Tell me who's out. Let's see. Happy belated birthday to Blake. I don't know how they knew it was your birthday. That's a little concerning. <laughs> uh, Taco Trucker. It wants Rawls PSN. Maybe you can give it to him after the game roll. He's on Xbox. Sorry, it's not going to happen. Um, let's see. Uh, shout out Alex the G. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Layla. Uh, Wikipedia, that's how you knew the answer. Hey, I'm a fan of Wikipedia. That's where you get all the best information. I've always learned. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, good luck, everyone, to the last question. You must be out because if I was in, I'd want everyone else to get it wrong and me keep all the money. Um, it's always a belated birthday no matter what time of year. That's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point, no Sam258. All right, remember, the last question, the money is split between everyone who gets it right. You guys ready for the last question? Give me some basketball emojis if you're ready for the last question, ready to win $250. Come on, let's see them. Get it, get it started. I'm not starting the last question until I see it. You guys got to put them in there. Here we go. Now they're coming. All right, you guys ready for the last question? Let's do it. Bonus question number six, the final one, 250 bucks. Which of these coaches led four different schools to the NCAA tournament? Is it John Calipari, Tom Penders, or Thad Mata? Again, is it Calipari, Penders, or Mata? If you don't know, at least guess for 250 bucks on the line. Here we go. Oh, I'm stressing out, I'm worried. I don't know the answer to this. I'm really not sure. I hope you guys get it right. Here, here it comes. The news, oh my goodness gracious, it's a savage question. Only 19 people get it right. Tom Penders is the correct answer. 19 people are gonna split $250. I feel, I feel for the 86 people who went John Calipari, the, for the people who went Thad Mata, I feel for you in the end, that's brutal. But um, I'm glad we had a lot of winners. Uh, we had a bunch of winners in the initial round for 50 bucks and dang, some real people won a lot of money in that bonus round. I'll read some of the names out that won. Quiz Matt wins 1071. Uh, Josh wins as well. GDSK, Joker, 8334 wins. Congratulations, Joker. I'm proud of you, Joker. Uh, let's see. Greet won. Uh, Mila won. Pony Killer won. Pony Killer. That's an interesting name. Don't kill any ponies on my watch. Uh, Mum Meow, Tommy F, uh, V Ray. Let's see who else. J W U G I A Unit, R Sully. Congratulations, Porky the God, congratulations to you. Um, David AP, Souvenir, shout out to all of you. Shout out to QC. I really appreciate all of you guys being on here, having a fun time. Follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, at Android Ride for free money. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't play games where free money can be given out. That's why I play Joyride Ride all the time. But it's been a blast being with you all. Um, follow me. You can follow me on Twitter, at Eric Sports. I'm in the app, at Cash Me. Find out everything I do podcasts, jokes, Instagram, Twitter, all that's available. And again, congratulations to the winners. It's been tons of fun, and I hope to see everybody again soon. Congrats.